Hi friends, today we will learn how to install and use Fucus AI. So friends, without wasting time, get into it. First, make sure you have the latest version of Python installed. Now, while downloading, make sure to enable the checkbox of the Add to Path option. Download and install Git by following the next steps. For Windows slash Mac and Linux, choose the appropriate link for downloading Git. Now, you need to download Fucus. For that, just copy and paste the following link provided below into your browser. Link in description. Unzip the entire downloaded folder, download 7-zip, zip extractor, and use it to extract the downloaded zip folder and place it somewhere convenient on your PC to access. Here, we have used 7-zip to extract the downloaded zip folder. Double-click the run.bat file inside the Fucus folder. This will kick things off. On the first run, Fucus will automatically download the extra AI models it needs in the background. Be patient as this can take a couple of minutes. Zip folder. Once loaded, you will see the Fucus interface with an empty prompt box ready for your instructions. Prompts or text descriptions that tell Fucus what type of image you want to create. Now, let's try something simple at first. With your prompt entered, go ahead and click the Generate button. Give Fucus a moment to work its AI magic. On the top, you will start seeing new images appearing based on your prompt. Fucus defaults to generating for images at a time. Let's try refining the image quality using some of Fucus's options. Click the settings gear icon to open advanced settings. Under performance, choose quality instead of regular. Back on the main window, hit generate again with the same prompt. The AI should now render higher fidelity images based on the setting change. Have a play with other options like aspect ratio and image count as well to see how they impact the art Fucus creates. We can guide Fucus further by using an existing image as a starting point. Simply drag and drop any picture you want onto the canvas area. Then choose very options to transform that input image while keeping aspects intact. This gives the AI a base to build on, like changing the clothing of a person while keeping their face consistent. Feel free to get creative with your image prompts. That's it for our tutorial on how to install and use Fucus AI. We hope you found this guide helpful and that you're now ready to start creating amazing AI projects. If you have any questions or need further assistance, give comments below. Thanks for watching and happy creating. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more tutorials on Focus AI and other exciting tech tools. See you next time.